Money Matters, the government shutdown is serving up some trouble for folks in our area, this time at the dinner table. Government provided double food stamps for recipients in January, but the food stamps will not be received again until March. NBC 6's Jenna Jordan explains. Increased need is leaving food pantry shelves bare as more families than ever before are reaching out for assistance. Food is really important to people because they will do crazy things for food. Mitzi Stewart knows what it's like to be hungry. It was hard. It really was hard because I've always um, supported myself. She's had to rely on assistance from the Salvation Army Food Pantry to survive. People are knocked down and they need it. And now, more folks have fallen on tough times following the government shutdown. Normally we see low income and fixed, uh, and fixed income people coming in who just need us every month because they're always just a little bit short. Now we're looking at low income and, and like middle income, so we're starting to see a higher demographic. Uncertainty with government issued food stamps is leading more people to the pantry. They serve everyone. We don't want anybody in Texarkana to go hungry. But the unexpected increased demand is putting a pinch on the amount of food available to give. It's really one of my biggest fears so is is running out of food um, for for food pantry. You can't go without food and water. You can live in a tent, you can live under a tree, but you can't go without food and water. And the Salvation Army accepts non-perishable food items daily at their main office. In Texarkana, Jenna Jordan, back to you. Jenna, thank you so much. People can pick up the boxes of meals once a month from the Salvation Army's food pantry on 4th Street in Texarkana. The boxes are distributed on a walk-in basis on Wednesday morning.